Hello friends. So this problem is about work done in dragging a block along a spherical surface. So problem says, figure shows a fixed hemisphere of radius r and a person pulls a small object of mass m slowly by a string along the rough surface of the hemisphere from ground to top of the hemisphere. If the friction coefficient is mu, we have to find the work done by the man in this process. So let us try to see what is happening in this problem. So we have a hemisphere and this hemisphere is not smooth. It has a friction coefficient and this friction coefficient value is given. This is equals to mu. And this is kept on a surface. Basically this hemisphere is fixed on this surface. And there is an object of mass m. And this mass m is attached through a string which is pulled by a person. The mass of this block is given. This is a small m. And the friction coefficient is given and radius is given. So these three things are given. So what are the things that is given? So we have been given mass, friction coefficient between hemisphere and the block, radius of hemisphere, this is given. And we have to find work done. So what we have to find work done by the external agent. In this case, external agent is the man. Now let us see this problem. What are the important point? Few keywords in this problem. First keyword is slowly. So this mass is moved slowly. So this means what? If something is moved slowly, this means velocity is zero. Approximately equals to zero. So this also means if I want to apply work energy theorem, so we can say change in kinetic energy is equals to total work done. So there is no change in kinetic energy because initial, final, every time velocity is zero. So in this case, we have to find work done. So work done by the external agent will be equal to work done by all the internal forces. In this case, what are the internal forces we have? We have work done by the gravity plus work done by the friction. And this is what that is asked in the question that you have to calculate work done by the friction and work done by the gravity and that will be equal to the work done by the external force. Now how will you calculate this? So let us pause this video for one minute and try to write equation. So you have to write equation for frictional work and you have to write equation for gravitational work and gravitational work will be nothing but change in potential energy. So let us do this. Okay, so let us now solve this problem. So work done by gravity is easy to find. This will be, what will be this value? So work done by gravity, this height is r and finally this block will reach here. So work done by gravity is nothing but gain in potential energy. So how much is the gain? So mgr is the gain in potential energy. So this much amount of work must have been done against the gravity to lift this block from here to here and this work must has been done by the external agent. So we calculated work done by the gravity. Next we have to calculate work done by the friction force. To illustrate that, let us say at some point of time this block is here and this makes an angle theta. So this is making an angle theta from the horizontal. So what are the forces that is acting? One force is acting in the downward direction that is mz. Another force that will act in this direction that is normal reaction. We have to find work done by the friction. So friction is acting on this surface. So if this block is moving up, then friction will act in the downward direction. 
Now the friction force is equal to mu times n. So let us find normal reaction. So if you can see in this direction. So this angle is how much? So this angle is theta. So this angle will be 90 minus theta. So in this direction we will have mg cos 90 minus theta that is mg sin theta. So we have to find work done by friction. So we can write equation of motion in this case normal reaction is equals to mg sin theta. Now let us say with this this block here this moves with a further distance d theta. So this block is here now this further moves a small distance d theta. So this angle is basically d theta. So if this moves by d theta so this angle is d theta in this case. So this angle is d theta. So what will be this length? This length will be r d theta. So to move this block along r d theta length what will be the work? So very a small amount of work dw will be frictional force times displacement and displacement is r d theta. But the frictional force is nothing but mu times n and n we have already calculated that is mg sin theta. So we can plug it here mu times mg sin theta times r d theta this is the infinitesimal frictional work. So this is the frictional work. Now if I integrate both sides theta in this case will go from 0 to pi by 2 and this work will go from 0 to wf. So if I do this integration we can have work done by frictional force mu mzr is constant we can take outside and integration of sine theta is nothing but minus cos theta and this is from 0 to pi by 2. So this will be mu mzr and cos pi by 2 is basically 0 and cos 0 is 1 so minus of minus is simply 1 so this is mu mzr. So what will be the total work? Total work will be work done by the gravitational force that is mzr that we already calculated and work done by frictional force that is mu mzr. So let us add this mgr plus mu mzr and this is equals to if I take mgr common so this will be 1 plus mu. So this will be the work done by the external force. Uh, this is not the frictional work so this is the work done by the external agent work done by the man. So this amount of work he has to do to move this block from ground to the topmost of the sphere. Now I have a question for you. So the question is in this case there was two component of force one was mg sin theta another is mg cos theta and friction force was also there. So in this case friction force is mu times n. So we calculated the work done by mu n but we did not calculate the work done by mu uh, by mg cos theta. Why we did not calculate it? If I calculate this, what will happen? Is the work done by mg cos theta is same as the change in potential energy? So let us discuss all this in the comment box. How do you think work done by the mg cos theta is related to mgl that is mgr in this case that is the potential energy? Why we have not calculated this? So let us discuss all this in the comment box and I will see you in the next video. I hope you are liking my videos and if you like please share with your friends. Thank you.